Saracen's Ben Earl has already worked his way into contention for this season's Breakthrough Player Award and he was back in action on Friday night against a sale team playing in unfamiliar orange to raise money for the Once Upon a Smile children's charity. In the first half, it was the 2015 winners who steadily took control. Despite trailing to an early A.J. McGinty penalty for the Sharks, they built a valuable lead at the A.J. Bell, mainly via the boot of Max Malins, who kicked four first-half penalties and also converted this try from Will Skelton. But crucially, the home side stayed in touch thanks to a Saracens mistake. An overthrow at the line-out from Scott Sperling, pounced on by Ben Curry. Sale had introduced a number of newcomers for their opening victory over Worcester, and the learning process continued for the young stars in their second game, although it was the more experienced McGinty who featured heavily. He was shown a yellow card just before half-time, giving Malins the chance to kick Saracens into a 19 points to 13 lead at the break. But after a penalty from Will Cliff had narrowed the gap, Sale edged ahead thanks to their second try of the evening, scored from close range by Alexandru Taras. The try of the game, though, came with 11 minutes left on the clock. The architect was Byron McGuigan. A couple of excellent kicks from the winger were followed by a determined chase, which allowed Mike Haley to pick up the pieces. The try was followed by an unusual incident as McGinty lined up the conversion, which would, if successful, have denied their opponents a losing bonus point. Referee Rhys Thomas felt that when the fly half moved his boot, he was deemed to have started his run-up, which gave Saracens the chance to grab the ball for a quick restart. The decision prompted boos from the home supporters, but there was to be no dramatic finish, and those same fans were celebrating at the final whistle. It's back-to-back Anglo-Welsh Cup wins now for sale.